There's no other talk in the forums, and the support guys spent hours with them, hours and hours, right? There was just no solutions of why the controller will not reconnect after you have it on Bluetooth, you connect it over USB cable, and then disconnect it, and all of a sudden it's like, huh, huh. How's, how's Bluetooth work? Where's Bluetooth at? Now, there's a difference between the Xbox One controller and the Xbox One S controller. Here it says Bluetooth re use requires Windows 10. For use without Bluetooth, use a USB cable or Xbox wireless adapter is required for Windows 7 or 8.1. I have a Xbox One S controller, which allows Bluetooth. I Got the controller, hooked it up via Bluetooth, and it was working, it was fine. I had some batteries in there. Right now, it's hooked up without any batteries, right? So we're gonna put some batteries in it. The rechargeable battery pack is here. It's gonna remain in view. The reason we're getting into this, and you can see that it says it's paired on Bluetooth, is because I had an issue we're gonna use Fortnite as an example. In this section, we are showing the Bluetooth there, and then this cable is the USB that's connecting to my controller. Um, and then we have over here, the Xbox charge and play cable in view, and then we have the uh, adapter, wireless adapter in view, not hooked up. You can see I move that and it shows on screen fuck play now right a select so we can select in the mat and that works i'm going to unplug and it should kick over to the batteries right did not make sure to fuck make sure it was paired totally you have to to Add it to like a new network or whatever. You gotta put that. Okay, now it's connected. Okay, you can connect it here, and it should still work. Yep, it's still working. We can disconnect it. It should pair and work. That was my experience earlier. Well, yeah. So that's what's happening. But yeah, this is an issue, right? Either way, it's still an issue and worth bringing up and recording because I can't go from batteries and the plug and back and forth, right? I can only use the batteries. If I plug it in, then it fucks up the ability for it to communicate over Bluetooth and you have to come in here and you have to remove it and you have to re-add it and it's a pain. It's, it's ridiculous, right? So now what we're gonna show you, you should be able to just connect it and pull it out and have it connect to the Bluetooth without issues. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna swap over from a generic Bluetooth adapter, which it was working on the Bluetooth adapter, but it stops working on the Bluetooth adapter as soon as you plug it into the computer via a USB cable. If you unplug it, then it doesn't want to work with it anymore. So we're going to try to pair these up and they paired up. Okay, now we're gonna go back in to the game. Oh, I got a loot crate. Uh, we're gonna take this cable, sorry, which was attached before. And we are going to plug that in. And our controller is still working. Right? And then we're going to unplug this generic USB cable. And then our controller keeps working. There's, you know, like a half second to a second delay. And then it connects right back up. And so I just wanted to point that out because I thought it might have had to do something with the charge and play adapter. Um, but this is nice that I could even further pinpoint it that has nothing to do with the charge and play adapter. Um, and it has everything to do with whether you're connecting over a generic US uh, Bluetooth, a generic Bluetooth, or if you're connecting over the Xbox wireless uh, adapter. 
um, which is not the same as the Bluetooth. The way it handles it in the computer is not the same because if you use the Bluetooth and you hook it up via USB cable and then you disconnect it, then it's like, huh, what? I, would, I can do Bluetooth? And, and you have to remove it, you have to unpair it, and then you have to go back in and pair it and start all over. And if you're in the middle of a game and you're wanting to conserve some battery, life whether it's the rechargeable battery or your regular batteries and play on USB but then you want to lean back in your chair some and you know you don't you don't want that cord attached and you want to unplug it then all of a sudden you're totally screwed this is the wireless adapter it cost me I believe like 25 bucks we already spent I think like 12 or something on the Bluetooth adapter that's the charge and play you know it works fine after you have the wireless adapter with the two of these at each around like 25 bucks or so if I recall um, that's an extra 50 bucks so you know if you don't buy this thing and you use the USB uh, or sorry the Bluetooth the little dongle right then you're gonna be totally fucked I hope if you're frustrated or don't know why the fuck this shit isn't acting the way that it should be acting, you find this video and you find it helpful. And you like and subscribe, become part of the notification squad! Notification squad! And uh, yeah. Ask me, ask me shit. Hit that bell, yeah, come stick around, watch some videos. Squad. Cook some shit. While you're naked, neighbor. <laughs> Notification squad, notification squad, notification squad.